Oz. Hola. Welcome to the other side of Amodis today with me here, Jacinta. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and don't forget to give me a comment. On this channel, we talk about hair care, lifestyle and some motivation. So, for my returning subscribers, I see you guys. Thank you so much for the support and for your comments. Thank you so much for those who keep on encouraging me. Thank you so much. And for the new subscribers, guy, 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 Asante Sana and Karibu to the other side of Amodest. I love, 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 love you so much. You are at the right are the light are the light are the right plug so in today's video as you can see the title we are going to learn about something super interesting something that affects most of us as naturalists and uh, we are going to dig dig deep so much in the reasons why our hair is not growing why is your hair not growing it's everyone's desire that we grow our hair. Nobody wants to have stunted growth, brownish hair, thinned hair. Nobody wants that bad hair. Everybody wants that super lashes hair that is super attractive and uh, uh, type of hair that attracts, that sparks, that keeps, keeps on giving you confidence no matter what you go through. So, if you want to know more about that, how to curb standard growth and the reasons behind standard growth, don't forget to watch this video till the end. And let's get started. And before we get started, I just want to speak to someone who feels low, someone who feels discouraged, or someone who feels like he's reached the end or she's reached the end of life, because I know that. Some men also watch my content, but not a bigger percentage. Kindly share this video. Share this video to your friends, to your family, to everybody that you know. Anybody that is passing through any hair problems. And today I just want to encourage somebody that uh, Jesus loves you so much. Don't forget that. And despite that you are going through this season, Maybe you are not okay. Don't give up yet, my sister and brother. Lean on Psalms 130. Our God loves us and that is enough. His will for us is super good. He tells us in Proverbs 29, uh, sorry, Jeremiah 29, 11 that he's got good plans for us. Psalms 23 tells us that he is our shepherd. We should not be in want. So why should you get worried? When you feel discouraged, read the Bible, pray, and listen to God music. Also, make sure your entourage is with people that mostly give you positive vibes. So your environment matters. Check on your friends. So without taking so much time, guys, if you want to hear much of motivational videos, Watch my previous videos in another video is coming to you super soon. Here are the reasons of stunted growth. Stunted growth is, uh, I understand it, it as uh, a level where you reach, your hair is not growing and probably it is shading or breaking. If you've not watched my video concerning breaking and shading kindly, Rudy Numaki Dog, you will understand. So guys, I'm just giving you content basically on the real things. I'm not going to base so much on practicals, but next year I'm trusting God that I'll be doing styles. What can you say about my style today? This one has been a surprise, but story aside, when I start stories, I'll not finish. So reason number one why your hair is not growing is maybe health problems. Life is into circles and you cannot blame anybody or anyone if they are taking any kind of medications. So if you are into medications or you've been prescribed over a certain period of time to be on this type of treatment, definitely your hair will not be good. 
and I experienced this this year actually. I was a certain under uh, treatment and my hair literally was shading. It was not that lashes and I was asking myself what is it? So after the medication I, I saw that it was it was recovering. So I understood that truly this medication do affect and also for my cancer patients some of them can literally shade their hair yes i've been i've had a cancer patient i understand that and give yourself grace if it is not working don't force don't force don't force understand yourself and give yourself grace yes some cancer patients are not affected but some are affected when my mother was ailing cancer she literally didn't shade her hair so i i really don't know maybe it's types of genetics but with some patients they were shading and some that not much and some they do shade so just understand that if you're under medications be patient if it is for a lifetime also you can try these recipes you can just have a regimen and don't don't be discouraged it is not the end of life medications can be there maybe it is for a lifetime don't give up sis don't give up don't give up bro just take the medications and pray trust in god just because you want that good hair don't give up on your medication it is very very important we still need you cause number two is excess stress also i'm a victim at the moment i get stressed I do unnecessary shading and breaking so make sure that um, you learn how to manage stress and if you are under stress make sure you're drinking plenty of water water is also very important because as human beings we are with our body is controlled by hormones and stress can affect our brain thus causing headache and any other fatigue maybe maybe it affects our day-to-day -day activities maybe you can no longer exercise you feel so low your spirit is so much stress yes stress affects your hair so learn to control especially if you're under depression give yourself that grace it is good to hurt to be get hurt it's good to fall down but it's not good to stay that long down you need to get up. Nobody, nobody, nobody owes you anything. Love yourself so much. Get up. Beat those stresses. Tell stresses that I am going to be who God created me to be. So beat those stress and enjoy life. Number three cause of uh, standard growth is hormonal imbalance. So this can go hand in hand with the health problem and excess stress and, and now we are affecting our hormones. We all know that uh, our body depends on so much of our organs to produce. If you want a good skin, probably you should eat well and exercise and also make sure that you're balancing your hormones. As women, we all know that we go through cycles. Sometimes hormonal imbalance causes us to pop up pimples. To We are sometimes not predictable. We go sometimes into cycles that makes us behave as if we are guy. Sometimes I, I go through the same end. Literally, hormonal imbalance also affects our hair health. So sometimes don't blame yourself so much. If that cycle comes, Go through it, allow yourself to produce what you are supposed to produce and <laughs> allow yourself to go through what you are supposed to do. We are human. Hair growth is a journey. That is why it is a journey. Nobody has reached the end of it. Because sometimes we come a time where you, you start shedding if you are on postpartum or you are you becoming a mother. You are lactating mother. Probably you these hormones will not balance and that is where the problems comes in. So, like thyroid pregnancy, like menopause, like those with PCOS, I see you. I pray for you that God helps you. And just, like I said, give yourself grace. Love yourself even with those difficulties. Number four is nutritional deficiencies. Oh my goodness. Hey. 
this is where so many problems comes from i am also another victim oh like i can literally buy fruits in my house and taking them is a problem i still have fruits like for two weeks or one month sometimes actually they get spoiled i keep hey god should just help me so my problem is when i'm alone eating is a problem eating is a problem but when i'm with people eating is not a problem to me so i am trying that maybe in this month i'll be i'll be setting an alarm so that when it just starts hitting hitting i just know that i need to take foods because i've been able to manage myself my pimples have run down actually because I'm consuming a lot of water and I, I told myself I need to consume water. So I think with the fruits I'll have to. And also take vegetables, very very important. When you, you lack enough vitamins and minerals, it leads to serious hair problems. Nutrients like iron and proteins, biotin, zinc contribute to your healthy hair. So take that into consideration make sure you're taking a balanced diet another cause of stunted growth is hair treatments and styling like i said guys oh avoid heat avoid heat how many times have i ever said about that avoid heat i'm on a journey i started last year i only i only do heat on my hair once in a year Trust me, it is a struggle at first. At first, it was not easy. Like, like last year, I did two blood rests and I had promised myself that I'm going to do one. So, it was a struggle at first. But for now, I've been able to learn to curb this. And the journey is fruitful. Because when, I, when I'm going to special functions, sometimes this virgin hair is difficult to handle. But... With extensions, I'm doing great. With knowing how to style my hair, I'm doing great. And I've seen people telling me, what do you use on your hair? Or, or I, I, I've got clients actually through this, wearing my natural hair. It has brought me so much blessings than the opposite. So sometimes it is good that you take good hair of your, your hair. Because... It is not just for you. There are some people who are looking at you. Everybody is going to get inspired by you. Everybody is going to learn something by you. And, uh, and it's not only your hair. Because I believe the life we are living is just a teaching to the public. In that uh, people get to learn on what you do. How you behave around them. And everything of this sort. So it's very, very important, girl, bro, that uh, our lives teachers be a good teacher to other people watching us. Is that clear? So avoid unnecessary styling, like avoid gel so much. I sometimes do gel, but my hair is low porosity and for C. So with Nikki style, like when it is all about it slicking down it is not that a problem and also i use a silk type satin bonnet or a, a head scarf that one has helped me so that i can be able to to lock in the moisture super well so ensure you have got those things and unnecessary styling check out who touches your hair very very important check out who you allow to do your hair don't just go to the salon and stay there they are spoiling your hair and you just watch it so you're coming out of there and you're like go oh. i am also a victim my hair here it's literally broke and i thank god because i'm regaining with the trimming with every practice i'm doing it is giving me so much positive results so make sure you don't use so much harsh chemicals and products and styling with the processes that can have an impact on your hair not those types that cannot help you another cause of stunted growth is split ends guys have you watched my previous video there is this video that i was shooting here about breaking and uh, hair shading and i discovered on camera that uh, my hair i started splitting at this place 
normally when i do trimming i normally trim my hair myself i don't trust anybody sorry for that if i may hurt somebody but i don't trust anybody in this so i trim it myself i took it into sections and i trim it and i did i find out that maybe at this center maybe sometimes was it trim so that is why it has started causing split ends i literally did away with it i did some cutting so don't don't fear cutting your hair don't fear trimming actually and i noticed when i started this natural hair journey a virgin type i noticed that when i started trimming my hair started being more healthy and growing so trimming is some people fear that maybe when they trim their hair it is becoming short girl go go go, 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 go. please trimming your hair my goal is to have a healthy hair not to have a longer hair because i can have a longer hair and it is not that healthy so what is the importance of that make sure your hair is healthy that is our goal on this channel healthy hair not long hair because when our hair is healthy it will definitely grow and if it can be long and thinning and falling out definitely you are going to have a bug have such is god number one solution is cleanse your scalp how many of us know that having a clean scalp leads to hair growth how many times since do you wash your hair personally i wash my hair once in two weeks and in those two weeks i ensure i'm moisturizing my hair at least eight times that means that in a week i'm moisturizing four times but if i have to style my hair every day definitely i'll be adding water every day so 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 sis it's very important that you use water very well and use products that have got aqua in it very important especially if you are low or high porosity with medium i think somehow they've got a certain race but with these two types actually ensure the products you're getting you reach the you reach the you read the description and you get a examples of products that helps your hair i think i need to do a video on the products that i use and why i use them so subscribe if you haven't subscribed because that video is coming number two way of curbing sandy girl is scalp messages oh i need again to do a video on this how many of us massage our hair before we go to sleep because massaging enhances blood circulation and thus helping your cuticles to do what to allow the pores breathe and then there is going to grow so how many times do we massage our hair at night very very essential so if you've not started massaging your hair try those messages use olive oil use castor oil use tea tree oil use jojoba oil essential oils ask me any question about hair oils in the in the comment box i'll be answering that one again avoid over manipulation yes keep keep your style simple like the style i'm wearing today it is just uh, it is a protective style it is not causing so much pressure on the edges neither is it causing so much pressure in the ends so make sure the style you are doing and also the products and the appliances they are super friendly on your scalp there are some of us who are allergic to certain kinds of products so make sure you do patch testing with patch testing i mean buy products for the first time in small quantities personally i don't use avocado oil but i can use avocado itself as a juice so with avocado it causes my scalp to do some vidonda vidonda that's why i don't use it but if you are you are so much friendly with avocado it doesn't affect you so just go ahead and use it so make sure you get to understand your hair very well especially the scalp and the ends another solution is little or no heat yes i have talked about that one let us just minimize our levels of using heat on our hair 
Another thing is deep conditioning. Deep conditioning helps you lock in the moisture. How many of us deep have been deep, deep conditioning? If you're watching this video, when was your last time since you deep conditioned? I'm talking about you. You want that good hair, you want that hair that is lashes, black and appetizing. But you don't trim, you don't deep condition. How can I help you, sis? Invest in deep conditioners. Hmm? I'll be doing a video on things you need to know when buying a deep conditioner. Hmm? The product that, the, the composition of that deep conditioner. It, this one also goes hand in hand with your hair type and your porosity type. If you have not watched that video concerning hair type and porosity, kindly, kindly, you may not understand me as I go day by day as we move on. Please go ahead and do yourself a favor. Go ahead and watch that video. Last but not least, trim the dead ends. We talked about that one. Trimming would help, will help you avoid your hair thinning and your hair being stunted in growth. Have a good schedule on when you are going to trim your hair, when you are going to massage, when you are going to deep condition, when you are going to do a blow dry, when you are going to do styling, when you are going to play those corners, when you are going to do wigs, when you are going to do those wigs. Just just have a regimen and a routine on your hair. Oh my goodness. Girls, if we are going to have this regimen and we are going to adhere to this thing, despite the challenges that we go through in life, I think our hair journey is just going to be super easy. It's going to be super amazing. Despite what we go through, we are going to overcome. And our hair journey is going to be a success. We are going to be a, a inspiration in the next generation. So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. Ask me any questions in the comment box below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at she is Jacinta. You can email me through the details on the comment box if you want to talk to me. If you want to ask any questions again, you can get me on Facebook. My page is she is Jacinta. You can get their daily motivations. And if you are a Christian lady, why not join our ministry? We've got a single ladies only ministry. 18 years to 35, we learn so much about the gospel. So if you want to join us, check the, check the description box. You'll have the link on Telegram. Join Telegram, then we shall talk and how we can add you on our WhatsApp groups.